Radiocarbon is created in the stratosphere by nuclear reactions between atmospheric nitrogen and thermal neutrons produced naturally by cosmic rays. Radiocarbon then enters the Earth's biosphere via photosynthesis and exchange with the ocean-atmosphere interface. All living organisms on the planet take up this carbon-14, along with other forms of carbon, until death, when the level of carbon-14 begins to decay at a known rate. This is the basis of the radiocarbon dating method. The concentration of radiocarbon in the atmosphere has not been constant historically. Instead, it fluctuates over time. Calibration is therefore needed to correct radiocarbon dates into calendar years. An updated and extended radiocarbon calibration curve called INTCAL20 has been published by the INTCAL Working Group. It extends calibration for terrestrial samples back to 55,000 years ago. INTCAL20 now has 12,904 data points, nearly double the number in INTCAL13. Dendrochronologically dated tree rings are the best material for calibration because they directly record atmospheric carbon-14 and their calendar age is precisely known. The European pine chronology now extends back to almost 12,500 years ago. Older tree rings used in calibration remain floating but can be included in the curve through a method called wiggle matching. This allows key early tree ring series from New Zealand Kauri to be included. Other records allow us to extend the curve further back in time. The most important is from Hulu Cave in China. This uranium thorium dated speleothem goes back to 54,000 years ago. Sediments and plant remains from Lake Suigetsu's varved sediment sequence in Japan have also been revised and extended. A new statistical model was used to construct the actual calibration curve based on these records. What differences can we expect to see when we calibrate dates using the new INTCAL20 curve? For the recent period, the effects are minimal for the most part. For older radiocarbon dates, the shift in calibrated ages can be up to several hundred years. The new curve may help us to resolve the date of the key Thera eruption in the eastern Mediterranean, which led to the end of the Bronze Age in the region. New calibration will also sharpen our dating of the disappearance of Neanderthals and the dispersal of early modern humans into Eurasia.